Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update we call Weather Overtime. This is our online video weather blog keeping you updated as to what's going on with the weather. It is a quiet Sunday evening here in the Mid-South. Not quite as quiet with some weather problems seen throughout the rest of the continental United States and seeing again some more problems out there on the West Coast and on the East Coast states so for travelers. So if you're heading back toward home again relatively soon you are going to be seeing again some slowdowns taking place out there with the problems that we've got again are fairly minimal and very glad to report on that but we do see still see some slowdowns taking place uh, with the FAA out there showing a lot of volume of travelers out across areas of the country for tonight so if you have any plans for watching what goes on in and around the Mid-South area for this evening, we've got your forecast going on there. We've also, again, got updates on what's going on throughout the area for the rest of the next couple of days as we see, again, the potential for uh, some more areas of showers and thunderstorms heading our direction into the next few days as well. Welcoming in our Facebook viewers at this time on my phone and on the computer system down here. Uh, this is where we're getting Periscope and Twitter information on. And thanks, everybody, for joining us out there. Varn Nada on uh, Periscope and Twitter. Thanks a lot for checking on in and also for everybody uh, just about ready to join here on Facebook for tonight. If you have questions about the forecast, please drop them into the comments section and we'll answer them as best we can. We'll also keep you updated as to what's going on with travel over the next few days and give us your location and your weather reports with what's going on around the area. Put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to good use and tell us what the temperature is. If you're in the Mid-South, North Mississippi, back into West Tennessee or Eastern Arkansas, are. If you're somewhere outside of that, welcome to the show no matter where you are. And thanks, everybody, for stopping on by for tonight. Forecast, in a nutshell, is just looking pretty chilly more than anything else. There's not really going to be seeing too much of anything out there in the way of super cold temperatures, at least for now. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Temperatures into and around the area are going to be back in the mid-40s across much of the mid-south for this evening. And that's going to be about the main thing that we see out there. Uh, Varneda on Periscope, should I wear a coat tomorrow? Doesn't look like you're going to need it in the afternoon, especially, but for tonight, if you're heading out the door anywhere toward about midnight, it is going to be a little bit on the chilly side out there for this evening. Taking a look at our Baptist DeSoto camera in and around South Haven for tonight. We did see, again, some pretty heavy volume of traffic out across portions of the area, but we're just not picking up too much of anything going on in the way of problems out across the area so far. So decently quiet across much of the area. And looks like it's going to be staying that way into the rest of the evening. You're looking right at the I-55 and Goodman Road overpass. And so far it seems that everything is moving along pretty well. Looking off toward the Horn Lake area and into the shopping centers out there about ready to close up for the night. Getting into around the 8 to 9 o'clock hour right around the Baptist DeSoto area. Camera coming into view in the hospital structure there on the lower left-hand corner of your screen. So good visibility seen across much of the area there. Taking a look into downtown Memphis, the area around Big River Crossing looking very nicely lit up so far. And also seeing again a good amount of visibility in and around the area as we look back toward West Memphis, Arkansas. Now the visibility tonight marred a little bit by the bridges and there was a lot of activity going on uh, in the way of traffic. You can see some of that traffic moving along a little nicer right now on I-55 and also back over to around Missouri Street in West Memphis. So we did have some slowdowns taking place at some times out there, but we're just not getting too much right now. So it looks like maybe we've hit that peak out there. Looking back toward I-40 and Sycamore View, the exit for there right back over this direction, the flyover and traffic between Sycamore View and Witten Road on I-40 moving along pretty nicely at this time. So we're just not looking at too much in the way of major problems going on here. So good news for the Mid-South where travel is concerned for tonight. We don't have, again, a lot going on out there for the time being. Likewise, we have little going on where it comes to rain, very dry air in place over the Mid-South area over the course of the entire day today, so much so that the National Weather Service in Little Rock is starting to think about issuing maybe fire weather statements that we may see the potential of some dry enough weather to increase, exacerbate the possibility of wildfires. And the National Weather Service in Memphis is also keeping an eye on that, so we'll keep an eye for that if there's any statements out there. We usually see, again, some pretty good amounts of flocks of birds going on through the area, going down that natural highway of the Mississippi River. You'll see some more of them tomorrow on 
Storm Tracker 3S with Todd Demers, so watch out for those blobs on screen. Not rainfall, but flocks of birds that you see migrating through the area, and pretty typical for this time of the year that we can get through that. Some clouds around portions of areas around close to Missouri, northern Arkansas going through west Tennessee. That's about it where it comes to rainfall or even anything close to rainfall for us. Scattered showers just off the coast of Miami, Florida, down into the Gulf of Mexico for tonight. Beyond that, we don't really have a lot going on. East Coast State's pretty quiet. Some lake effect snow over parts of upstate New York and into southern Canada for tonight. Back across areas of Vermont and New Hampshire, a little bit more activity going there into parts of southwestern Maine. Northern Plain States appear to be pretty clear. Bit of a front coming through here, but just cloud cover, nothing in the way of actual moisture going on that's going to be causing any problems for us. And then looking back toward the West Coast, this is where we're having the worst concerns with weather tonight. And this is also where we're getting some of the slowdowns we were talking about uh, for the Thanksgiving end of the holiday travel going on. Rain and snow across the Cascades all the way down from California back into Puget Sound and parts of southwestern Canada picking up some problems as well. All this is part of a couple of things coming together. We've got a large, whoops, hang on, a little bit too far out there. Hang on. We'll get this taken care of here in just a second, I hope. Well, in the meantime, this may be... See if we're stuck here for right now. This is okay. Hang on. This may may require the manual approach here as we take a look into the air. There we go. Okay. Now, what are we looking at? We got a couple of things to show here. Technical difficulties. It happens. Sorry about that. Large storm system barreling into the west coast. All this energy here out in the Gulf of Alaska causing a lot of winds coming this direction. And down this direction, right off of Hawaii from the eastern Pacific, a river of moisture aiming for the west coast states. And from anything north of Los Angeles all the way back into around areas close to San Francisco, uh, Sacramento getting some good soaking, northern California, and then back into around the area close to portions of the Cascades in the northwestern United States. That's where we're seeing the heaviest potential of problems out there, and that's where the winter weather is kind of set in at the higher elevation. So if you know anybody who's traveling back this direction, this is going to be the worst of the worst activity for the entire continental United States for the rest of the evening into tonight. Now getting into tomorrow, again, temperatures will be a bit on the chilly side for the kids getting back to school. Sorry about that, kids. Also, sorry about that, teachers, but you kind of knew this was coming anyway. Back into the lower 60s by lunchtime and upper 60s as we head toward dismissal time with those winds out of the south. Currently seeing temperatures in the mid-south back into the mid-upper 40s, continuing that slide downward with those temperatures out there going back into the lower to mid-40s over the course of the rest of the day. Now getting into tomorrow, early in the morning, mid to upper 30s to around about lower 40s. So Todd Demers' forecast will be a little bit on the chilly side out there, but those moving lines on screen, the southerly winds are going to keep the numbers up as we head into tomorrow, so much more comfortable conditions as we get into the rest of the forecast toward the rest of the afternoon. Looking pretty good there. By the time News Channel 3's Jim Jaggers is on the air with the forecast tomorrow night, News Channel 3 at 10, back in the 40s and lower 50s. And then as we get into around Tuesday morning, not quite as cool back into the mid-40s or so across much of the area. Rest of the forecast, again, getting on the mild side out that direction so far. Uh, Jones Claudette, 49 degrees. Don't have a wind chill factor right now. There's not much wind out there at this time, so I'm not looking too bad at this point. Daniel Gray, things look good from your hospital. Glad to hear. Hope you're not in for anything serious. Faulkner, Mississippi. Karen Sullivan, welcome to the show, and thanks for the weather report from there. Into the rest of the next couple of days, pretty mild out there. Normal for this time of the year is about 60 degrees, and we're going to be decently above that for the next couple of days. Wednesday, we start to see our new storm system arrive, and this one brings us some more chances of some scattered light showers possible. It doesn't look like much. We took the thunderstorms out of the forecast for right now, but they still may be back in the forecast again as we get into the next couple of days. Now, after this first system rolls on through, we see temperatures dip a little bit into the mid-50s by Friday, and that should do it for the chances of rainfall out there, but at least we'll kind of settle the dust anyway. Getting into next weekend, temperatures back in the lower 60s, so a little bit more sunshine out there. Then we start seeing some signs of something interesting happening on the horizon going toward next week. We'll get into the 60s again on Monday, a little cooler toward next week. Toward next Tuesday, possibility of a large amount of rainfall heading our way. Looks pretty good for right now, but this is again about 10 days out, so this will more than likely change into the next few days. So anything on this end of the week's to 10-day scale, 
probably take it with a very large grain of salt. Better chances of rain by Tuesday from what it looks like right now. Much cooler by about Wednesday. And then also looking again at the potential of some much, much cooler weather beyond this as we go toward the end of next week. How much cooler? A little too early to tell right now, but we could be looking at highs in the 50s by next Wednesday and could be seeing again temperatures maybe in the 40s for highs as we get closer to the end of next week as we finish out much of the first full week of December. Now again, that is very preliminary, but we will be watching that to give you an idea as to what goes on so please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on what's going on in and around the Mid-South area. So for now again it does not look like anything really huge in the way of major amounts of cold air yet but again I would keep an eye on that area of the forecast just to be on the safe side out there. Again if you're just joining us we're on Weather Overtime. This is our exclusive online video weather blog keeping you updated as to what's going on out there. I'll have my forecast on throughout the rest of the weekend with Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. My computer is getting a little bit far ahead of me, so give me two seconds here to bring up uh, air travel in the Mid-South and show you more about what we're looking at for right now. Now, the good news at this time is we're not seeing anything partly cloudy to mostly clear at Memphis International just before 9 o'clock on Sunday evening. So we don't have a lot going on with delays. The green icon here indicating, again, delays of 15 minutes or less. That, again, is good news for travelers out there. We are seeing a lot of other problems, and I mean a lot, mainly on the coastal areas for right now. San Francisco, Los Angeles seeing the worst of the worst on the West Coast states. Not too much problems reported around Portland, SeaTac, or anywhere else up and down the coast, say San Diego. Newark, back toward JFK and LaGuardia, are also seeing, again, some problems out there. So some pretty good delays, and those delays are increasing around LaGuardia. Some of this is due to the sheer volume of people in motion trying to get home. So a lot of people at the airports trying to get from point A to point B and doing their best to get there. That's being hampered by the weather out there. So unfortunately, we do have some of this due to the weather factor and some of it due to the volume of people. But again, an evening for travel out across much of the area could be a bit of a problem. Uh, thanks to God Quinks 8 on uh, the uh, for Periscope for joining us for this evening and thanks to everybody else on Facebook for checking on in for right now. If you'd like to get this information at home all you have to do is drop by the FAA's website at fly.faa.gov and find out more about what's going on in the Skyways. Great website to keep with you to, just in case you may need it at various points in time to keep you updated as to what's going on. I'll have more on your forecast coming up tomorrow morning and throughout the rest of the week. So join me on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, Monday through Friday with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live, mainly sports chat, but they do a lot where it comes to news and current events, and they'll have me on as a guest to talk about weather and science and all kinds of neat things like that. So please join us on AM 730. If you can't get them on AM 730, drop by their website at Talkback Live Network network.org and you can listen to them online so a good opportunity to see more there and of course Todd Demers will have more coming up on your complete forecast bright and early into tomorrow morning that'll do it for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog weather overtime we'll have more on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10 that'll be starting at about 10:46 tonight on a little late thanks to Friday night or thanks to Sunday football so catch us on the late edition just about 10:46 and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on with news weather and sports in the Mid-South. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks once again for joining us for tonight's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather information.